Gunshots reported. All units respond. Code 99 emergency. What's going on guys and welcome to a tutorial on how to install LSPDFR using the Epic Games version. Okay, this also will work for the Steam and Rockstar versions as well and I'll talk about them in a second. So first of all, you need to go into lcpdfr.com up here. Okay, this is the front page for the mod. And you want to go up to the tab at the top here, LSPDFR, and just go ahead and click that. This just brings on to the main page for that mod. And then just in the center of the screen, there's that download LSPDFR. That's the latest version. So go ahead and click that. This will then take us to the downloads page for the mod. So here we've got all the information about the mod, all the change logs and everything. On the right hand side, just at the top, it says download this file. We're going to go ahead and click that. Now this is now the user agreement for our SPDF file. So have a read through this. And if you agree with everything, scroll right the way down to the bottom. On the bottom right, there's an agree and download. So we're going to go ahead and click that. Now in this tutorial, we're going to be doing the automatic install which is the easiest and most hassle-free version of the install and that's just that top file here the setup.exe okay so we're going to go click download this is now going to automatically start downloading for us hopefully we'll see it crop up in the bottom there it is wait for that to download And then we're going to just run that straight away. There'll be a little admin prompt, which you want to click allow or yes to. And it's going to start working automatically for us. So it's now going to ask us to select a language. Click OK. And this is now the installer. OK, this is the user agreement once again. Again, have a quick scroll through. If you're happy with everything, click I agree. Keep everything ticked here. This will uninstall any previous versions of the mod um, and give you a fully fresh install. So click next. Now here you need to choose the LSPDFR where you want it to be installed. So your GTA 5 directory. Now for Steam and the Rockstar Games version of the game, it will automatically detect the game. However, with Epic Games, you may have to manually select where the location is now the default location for epic games is this here so it's in your local disk program files epic games and then it'll be under gta 5 okay personally i've got it selected in a slightly different location but it's still called epic games gta 5 So mine's just here there, you see Epic Games, and you see the GTA 5. So just click on that folder. Don't worry about clicking on any of these subfolders here. Just click on the main folder there and click OK. So as you said, mine says Epic Games GTA 5. Yours will probably say C, Program Files, Epic Games GTA 5. OK, and then we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to click Install. And it's going to do everything for us. It's going to put all the files in the correct locations for us. It'll then ask us if we want to launch the LSPDFR first time configurator, which we want to click, make sure it's ticked and click finish. Let's move that over here, get rid of that. So this is now the first time installer and a nice little configurator for us. So because this uses, the mod, well the mod uses Rage plugin hook, so we need to accept their license. So just click show license on the right hand side. Again, have us read through that, and if you're happy with everything, click accept. It says not going to ask us to change a couple of settings. The easiest way to do it is just to click do it for me, which is that top version. If you want to go into the settings, you can click settings. But the easiest way is just to click do it for me, which is what I'm going to click. And it comes up to say it's been successfully installed. So we're going to click OK now. So now let's try run the game. Now, before you run the game, 
if I was you, have your directory open. Okay, so you can see here, I've got my directory open. So mine is in this folder, Epic Games, GTA 5. Again, yours will probably be in this location or wherever you've put it. Now you can see that the mod's installed. We've got a couple of files. We've got the Alice PDFR folder. We've got Rage Plugin Hook, which is what the mod uses to load. And you want to keep an eye on this Rage Plugin Hook.exe because we're going to need that later on. Okay, so we're just going to leave that there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to load up the Rockstar Launcher. Rockstar Games Launcher. So just click that. It's going to connect us to the Rockstar Games services. And here you go. So it's logged in. If you haven't logged into your social club before, it will probably get you to log in then, which is completely fine. And then what we want to do is we want to click play on Epic. And then it's going to start loading the game up. Whilst the game is loading up, we're going to safely alt tab out of the game. And we're going to come back to this folder and we're going to run rage plugin hook .exe. Okay, so I'll just show that for you. So it says play on Epic for Steam, for Steam users, it'll say play on Steam. But it's all the same. So play on Epic. You can see it's launched the... It's another command prompt came up. Just click yes and allow. And now it's going to start loading the game up for us. You can see it's got the Epic Games launcher in the background. We don't need to touch any of that. We've just got to wait for the game to start up. There we go. So you can see the game's now starting up for me. So now I'm going to press Alt and Tab. Okay, so the game's loading up in the background. It's completely safe to Alt Tab at this point. Okay, now we're going to go to my folder at the back. Okay, and we're going to go down here, Rage Plugin Hook .exe. Okay, we're going to run that now. Now, because this is the first time that we have loaded this up, it's going to bring up a little window, just make sure we're happy with some things. So it shows us the console key, it says that that plugin is going to load up on startup, some advanced settings and some game settings. Everything's okay for default, so just click save and launch. And then OK. It's now going to start loading up Rage Plugin Hook. It's going to recognize we've got the game launching in the background. It's going to go down to the bottom left. Brilliant. So now we're going to click on the game. I'm just going to finish watching this load up. So you can see Rage has now popped up on the bottom right of the screen. That shows us it is loaded and it recognizes the game. And there you go. So now we can definitely tell it's working. Okay. On the bottom right, we've got loading story mode with rage. And in the middle, it's coming through and it's telling us each of the little things it's doing. Now, when we get into the game, I'm going to first show you through the first steps what you should do to get the character customization in Alice PDFR and I'll show you how to go on patrol for the first time. You see at the bottom right it's just loading the last little bits of the mod and here we go okay we're in the game now for the first time with the mod. The first time going on duty, the best thing to do is to go to a police station and go into the character customization and create your first character. So we're gonna go ahead, go to the nearest police station and do that. Okay guys, so here we are. We're just at the local Vinewood police station. Let's head towards the front doors where the little you marker on the mini map is and we will get going on duty, okay? You know, but Walking it's up like to the doors, press E to enter the police station. And this is now going to take us straight to the locker room. So we're going to go on duty. Just press enter to select that. And it's going to ask us now if we want to select a character. Okay, so we're going to go to the character selection menu. We're going to select a character for us to go on duty with. 
These characters are customizable fully and can be used with LSPDFR Sync. LSPDFR Sync will be getting its own little tutorial and showcase shortly, so just wait along for that. But for the time being, we can go ahead and make our character. Now, I'm going to skip through this just for tutorial purposes, but you can change all these sorts of things about the heritage of the character, different features, it's all completely customizable. Okay, so once you're happy, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep him the same. We're gonna click save and continue. You can then edit the name. I'm gonna keep it the same. And we're just gonna click OK. This is then the character manager, and we're gonna press enter on the use. Okay, so you've got some presets there, but we're gonna use our character that we've just created. It's then going to take us back to the locker room so we can choose a uniform for our character. So you can see here we click on the locker. And now we can go through the different departments. I'm just going to, it's got all the departments on here news, FIB, IAA, all these. I'm going to stick with LSPD. Now switch the outfit to COP. And again, there are variations with der various different customizations. There's also an advanced customization option where you can change more things there. I'm just going to keep it quite basic and just go with that, so click confirm. We're then gonna to go to the police garage and we're gonna choose our police car that we wanna patrol out on. So again, we've got all the different police departments. I'm gonna stick with LSPD and I'm just gonna go with the basic cruiser. Again, you can make certain modifications as there, but for the time being, I'm just gonna keep it the same. And now this is gonna load us in and we are now fully on duty you can see on the bottom left so now we can go out patrol respond to calls and have fun now another little top tip that I'm just going to give you is once you then subsequently start up the game and you want to go straight to this character you can use the rage plug and hook console in order to skip having to come down to the police station all the time okay just to do that you click F4 which was the console key and you type in force duty. Now force duty forces your character on or off duty, depending on what state it's in. So currently we are on duty. So if I apply this, it's gonna take us off duty. You can see we're now off duty. Okay, this is all uh, normal. We're not a police officer anymore. To go back on duty, you can just type in force duty. This will also work when you're Michael at the start and you want to go straight into being. As long as the mod is completely loaded, this will work. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoy your patrols. Uh, another tutorial is going to come out soon about the manual install and the LSPDFR sync. But for the time being, this was the automatic install for LSPDFR using the Epic Games version, which also works for the Steam and Rockstar Games version. Thanks for watching. Four, all units return to patrol.